King Lawler. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Uh, hey, I, hope there aren't morning. Any, I hope there aren't any haters out there this morning. Oh, I'm sure there. No, not here. Jerry, uh, thanks for being on the show with us, man. you got some career here. We're looking at, uh, on paper, some of the titles you've held. You've had every, almost every title you can, you can imagine in wrestling. That's just because I've been around longer than just about anybody you can imagine. When I started wrestling, Colonel Sanders was still a prime. Can you tell us about uh, Leave It Leave It to Lawler? Uh, when and where can we see that? <laughs> leave It to Lawler is a, uh, well, it's a, it's a, actually it's a segment that is on our local uh, Memphis, Tennessee wrestling show, which Memphis is my hometown. Of course, we've had a live local wrestling show every Saturday there for, gosh, I don't know, the past 30-something years. Anyway, uh, it's just a little segment that I do. It's sort of a, a takeoff on the Hogan Knows Best and all of these reality shows that you see on TV. It's just sort of poking fun at that. It's, a, it's just a little glimpse around the, the old Lawler household there. If you don't live in Memphis, you can check it out on my website, uh, www.kinglawler, L-A-W-L-E-R, kinglawler.com. I, I was watching the Hogan Knows Best last night, and it's like, I, I'm, just, I'm still amazed that this thing is actually on the air. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to ask you, could, could you ever imagine in the early days of wrestling that you'd have John Cena in a, in a major feature film and Hogan with his own reality show and all the successes that you guys have enjoyed, like, you know, The Rock and all these movies, too? Could you have imagined it back in the beginning? Well, no, you know, when I first started, no, I, I didn't think anything. I don't think anybody did. But, you know, I, I sort of credit myself with sort of bringing, <laughs> bringing wrestling into the, uh, the Hollywood entertainment area. Era, when back in 1983, I had my big feud with uh, the, the comedian Andy Kaufman, you know, who was the star of the TV show Taxi, and that was the first time that, that wrestling got basically national uh, publicity. When I piledrived Andy, he went to the hospital, stayed in the hospital three days, and then a, a, a short time later, he and I appeared on the David Letterman show, and I wound up slapping Andy on the David Letterman show, and that that incident sort of put wrestling into the into the mainstream and after that the WWE started using people like they brought in Cindy Lauper with a feud with Captain Lou Albano and then Mr. T got involved and then uh uh, you know, it, it just, it sort of went, the wrestling sort of went Hollywood after that. After the, your incident with Andy, you guys actually became friends for years, right? Well, actually, a lot, you know, a lot of people don't realize that actually Andy and I were sort of friends before the incident. I mean, uh, he, 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 this guy was so talented and so way ahead of his time that, uh, he, I mean, he, he was just such a great entertainer. He hated to be called a comedian. He wasn't a comedian. He was just a, sort of a, a performance artist who wanted to get a reaction out of, Everybody, and he didn't matter. He, he didn't mind if it was a, a laugh or a or a groan or whatever. He just wanted to make people react, and so it just about everything Andy did was some sort of a some sort of a shtick. And so the, you know the whole wrestling thing, he just he just really loved being involved in wrestling. As a matter of fact, he told me while we were doing that that he said I would give up TV show Taxi, all the comedy clubs, everything I'm doing in Hollywood if I could just stay involved with wrestling. That's how much he liked it. So coming up this Saturday here in Danbury, that's right, the new Heat Wave. <laughs> That's it. Psycho Sid Vicious versus Jerry the King Lawler. What the <laughs> well, hell is that? <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. When I heard that, I, I said to myself, what the hell is this? Where did they dig up Psycho Sid Vicious? I mean, this guy is an absolute monster who, uh, I mean, you know, he used to basically rule the WWE. He was a, the WWE uh, heavyweight champion at one time. And then a lot of people will remember, he, went to, he was one of those guys that went down to WCW. He was doing a move where he jumped off, I don't know if it was the top rope, whatever, but anyway, Anyway, on live TV, Sid, when he landed, his leg from his halfway between his knee and his ankle snapped, oh. broke in half, and it was it was as ah. it was as gruesome as watching the Joe Theismann uh, leg breaking thing. I yeah. mean, it was as bad an injury as I've ever seen. A lot of people thought he would never wrestle again, and he and I guess he really hasn't been wrestling up until up until now. And it looks like he's ready to try to make a run and try to make a return. He's back 100 percent healthy. Try to make a return to the WWE, and so uh, a lot of times this is what happens. They send me out as a as it's sort of a, um, I don't want to say guinea pig, but it's almost a sacrificial lamb, you know, <laughs> to, see, to see how tough these guys are. So uh, that's that's what I'm, I'm, I'm sort of looking forward just to seeing the guy because I've heard reports that he is bigger and badder than ever. Uh, but I'm not looking forward necessarily to climbing in the ring against Sid because, you know, he's going to be there with one one thing on his mind. That's squashing me and, and the word going back to Vince McMahon and him getting a call to come to Monday Night Raw. You know? Now, Tali and Christy are both going to be there, right? Oh, uh, yes, I hope so, yes. Okay, <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> We all do. <laughs> guys want to know about the women, yeah. They, they are involved in um, some sort of bikini. Uh, I don't know if it's a match or I'm hoping it's a match. I'm yeah, hoping. well, we're all hoping it's a match, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, 
but uh, yeah, those lovely uh, those lovely ladies are definitely going to be on hand. And you know me uh, on, on Monday Night Raw or, or or just actually out on the street. I'm all about the women. It's going to be a great time there. Some beautiful <laughs> ladies, some great wrestling action. Uh, and I understand even Ron Simmons is going to uh, make right. an appearance there. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 going to be quite the big night uh, in, in Danbury. I'm looking forward to it. Jerry the King Waller, boys and girls. Thank you for, very much, Jerry. Thank you, guys. People are talking about the I-95 Morning Show on your home of rock and roll, I-95.